Five behind. Six to win. Seven on the table. Couldn't get fairer than that. You mind? You want a side bet on it? I've got problems enough. Thanks for the game. Shame to win on a fluke. Fluke? Black. <laughs> that wasn't a fluke. Hundred quid says you can't repeat it. It's a lot of bread. It is. Maybe you could better afford to lose it than me. Maybe. Okay. All right for you. Near enough. Once was funny. Twice as boring. How about your job? Let's wash my hands first. Blow of scotch, please. No water, no ice. He's not leaving. Not with my money. Jack, locked. Kick it in. Charge it to my friend. Bad losers. We legged her through. There is that tunnel at Blissworth, long one. Don't think it was there, though. Of course, I suppose you're past it now. Funny. I was just going to say, I don't suppose you're fit enough. Want to put your feet where your mouth is? Yeah, I'm game.
Oh, damn. Get a drip. Oh, you yeah, smack in the eye. <laughs> See the smoke stains? Yeah. Centuries old, sorry. Bit of Bridgewater's cold, probably. Mrs. Pember. Close enough. My name's Robinson. Well, I don't ask to go, so name me Price. I've come to offer my condolences. Eh? Hey? About Neil. Christ. OK, kids, hop off. Off you go. Well, that was three months ago. What kept you? I've only just heard. OK, condolences accepted. Now what? You seem to be surviving. After my great loss. Words to that effect. He was a bummer. Born one, died one. Only decent thing he did was die in test... Intestate? No balls, you mean? <laughs> well, as they say, can't take them with you. So I've claimed the pieces. The pieces are big ones. Big, juicy ones. Every cloud, eh? Been nice meeting you. Hey, hang on. I haven't finished yet. I have. What if I were to tell you that I thought that Neil was murdered? No kidding. Fact. To be honest with you, I'd say I didn't give a toss. Do you remember when he worked on the drug squad? No. Where were you then, 8082? Not with him, that's for sure. Dave Brabrook. Reynolds. Lomax, Proudfoot. These names mean anything? No. Anyone tried to contact you since he died? Yes. Who? You. No strange phone calls? When you've reached my age, you've lived as rough as I have. It takes more than heavy breathing to make my knees tremble. I can match him whoever he is. Obscenity for obscenity. Still got the touch. Piece of cake. Should try some of those old coal barges. Yeah. Ross? It's like trying to steer the QE2. <laughs> Get the battery stopped. Asked for it, didn't you? Haven't seen any other boats this morning. Really? Now I reckon the tourists are going with the swallows. Did you get my fags? Asked for them, didn't you? Did you ever hear from Mum? No. Didn't you expect to? No. Well, do you expect to? No. Do you ever say anything but no? Occasionally. It's no wonder we don't find much to say to each other. I was waiting for you. Days are going by. 
Your week's nearly up. I'm ready. Who kicks off? You do. How involved are you with drugs? Is that a dad type question or a cop type one? Does it matter? Yes. I thought we were going to have a chat, not an interrogation. Why not answer the question? Oh, it is the cop. Well, I thought you'd have played policeman long enough. Been pushing pot. It never gave anyone lung cancer. It's against the law. OK, let's talk law. It's the same law that sent you down for two years, right? Yeah, wrongly convicted. Says who? I do. That's not the way I heard it. You'd stuck around. You'd have heard. The cops didn't believe you. The court didn't. Mum didn't. Gran didn't. I'll prove them wrong. When? I'm working on it. It isn't rude. Made any progress? Some. Who are the faces? Sort of rogues gallery. There's one missing. Never understand why banks write on the back of notes. Filthy beasts. Any word on that hustler? No, Mr. Ormond. He walked out with my ton. Yeah, I know. I'm a bad loser, and that's so, Luke. One of the worst. Got a reputation for it. Word like that gets around. By every Mickey Mouse in the business. Right. Well, we'll find him. Do it. Your brasses need polishing. Yes, sir. Tell you again, you're on a charge. You ever been in the army, Luke? No. Mm, everybody should go in the army. And first night, you look round the billet. All those bum scratches and nose pickers and illiterates. Makes your ambition rise like yeast. Tell me something, are sauna seasonal? Not that I'm aware of. Then how come the take on the Swedish sauna operation has dropped from the first quarter to the second quarter by 8%? And from the second quarter to the third quarter by a further 13%? Isn't possible. Possible or not, it's happened. It sounds like an acute case of greed. Terminal case. Either that or the good ladies of Withington are giving the men all the sex they can handle at home. Do you want me to speak to him? Do that. A few well chosen in his shell like. Tell him if he's not made good by Christmas Eve, I'll retire him. With flowers. I'll quote you. 25% up by the year's end. Or I'll have his ass in cellophane. And don't forget that hustler. say this, Robbo. I'd never buy a used motor off you. Sir, I don't deal in used cars. I only deal in used lives. <laughs> Dr. Johnson. Dr. Robinson. To be taken before meals, with meals and after meals. <laughs> with water. Resist the temptation whenever possible. <laughs> say something, you creeps. What do you know that we don't? So, what's up? Bank rates. Blood pressure, cholesterol, the dollar. Facetious today, aren't we? On account of meeting Mrs. P, as in Pember. Did she give you a good time? The only thing she gave me was her goodbye. Let's see. Right, that was it. Ball crusher. Vintage 1940-something. Said with feeling. 
I always mistrust domestic bliss, having seen so little myself. This surprised even me. And stone rich with it. Well, I can say, pity the poor fellow tries to part her from it. She any help? She and Pember had been apart from what sounded like 15 joyful years. Anyone try to muscle in? She says not. Believe her? Mm. If it means I don't have to see her again. Never seen Lisa Smith. Instant aversion. What about Bobby? Boy who used to work for Pember. Gone. She probably ate him. Like a praying mantis. Oh, well, I always say the second drink that goes down faster than the first. That hint. My dear fellow. You have met Steve. Steve. Mr. Robinson. Ah, Steve. Touch your forelock. He's a Fleet Street hotshot. Any particular paper? Oh, yes. A most particular paper. As I remarked to Rupert only last week. Of course, being a veteran, I remember when there was only one Rupert on the street. And he was bare. Happy days. Steve, not wishing to get rid of you, but... I uh, know. Uh, no. How'd you like to fix a bite of lunch? Sure. I'll rub it in Meister Sells. Go for a tuna sandwich? If it doesn't go for me first. A porter? Mm. Scotch and self-pity, nothing quite like it. No joy, I'm afraid, with the names on our list. No? Couldn't be better behaved if they were competing for the Vatican. <laughs> that moment when the uh, smoke curls up from the lone chimney. Groucho Marx would have approved. Yeah. Wouldn't have made a very good pope there. Mm. Not a great pope. Not with that walk. So what are you saying? All died with Pember? Might be something we have to reconcile ourselves to. Oh, I like the royal we. Must have had a partner. There's no way one We've man... done all that. Maybe it wasn't a copper. That's unlikely, I know. But there is just a chance. Oh, splendid. You realise, Max, what you've done? You've just extended the shortlist from six to fifty-odd million. Maybe it's one of those mysteries up there. We haven't a clue who they are. Here we are. They were some of the last people to speak to Neil Pember. And what did they say? How much is now on the lake? Any more chalk ices? Lomax has rumbled me. Yeah, I know. It's been hopeless. If it were possible, which it isn't, to work through them all, it'd have cost you a fortune. That's done already. Small. It's a fact of life. Always costs more to not find something than to find it. I mean, compare soft drugs with hard drugs. I'm listening. Well, you don't have a joint and go out and rape someone, do you? <laughs> I've got the energy. Well, then, no one, no one has a joint and goes and kicks out of a football stadium, right? Your soccer yards. Granted. Oh, half a dozen mind. It's just a bit of blow. It never killed anyone. Yeah, but is it? Just a bit of blow. Of course. I heard you were dealing, Steve. And a couple of pairs. Everyone picks on the pushers. It's against the law. No one picks on the man who sold the jam jar. The pub owner. I think I'm losing it. Thanks. Thanks. Let's sample them booze. Let's sample them tobacco. Some say. Oh, come on. It's been proved. Steve. Hello, doll. Hello. I oh, won't be a minute. Don't worry on my account. How are you? All right, thanks. How are you doing? The girl. Meaningless phrase, no such thing. All right, her name's Katie. I met her on my travel. She's a fellow drifter. Katie, Annie, great way to travel. Yeah, well, I don't mind doing it on my own. No, I know what you mean. Listen, do you fancy a beer? There's a nice little pub to tell No, you. I've uh, I still got some things I want to do. OK, fine. Oh, I won't be long. Katie. You're my father, not my big brother. Sorry. <coughs> Katie. I didn't know you worked in a cage. Girl has to have some secrets. But can you pop out for ten minutes? I haven't just come on. Tell him you've been taken short. OK. Come back in about half an hour and I'll see you in the cafe. Right.
Is it legal? Of course it isn't. What is these days? I don't need money that badly. I do. I'll lend you mine. I'm not talking pennies, love. I'm talking pounds. Hundreds of pounds. Oh, God. What's wrong? I'm scared. I said Newman and Redford, the sting. You remember it? Yeah, trouble with stings, people get stung. Yes, but we're doing the stinging. Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. <laughs> Look where it got him. Don't be so defeatist. We should get up and go. Yeah, it got up and went. Can't I think about it? No, it has to be today. Why? I told you. Katie, come on. You're not really scared, are you? <coughs> Help me. Is it very illegal? No, just a teeny bit. Mm, tell me about it, then. You're a doll. Steve, I've just put the carving knife to my throat for you. What's to do better than call me a doll? We'll pull the job. Then we'll worry about the words, OK? Good sign. What? You're back earlier than I expected. Oh, she, uh, she had to go to work. Oh, that's a drag. You eaten? No. Good. I, uh, I bought you something. Edible? Well, it's a bit indigestible. Perfume. Oh, you guessed. My savings. Well, it must be seven hundred quid. Two years plus. What do you want me to do with it? Prove your innocence. I heard you say you were strapped. And not anymore. I can't take your money, Steve. Of course you can. I took yours for sixteen years. That's different. It's a test. To see how serious you really are. Well, that's very generous of you. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. Yeah, well, I'm starving. Let's see. I'm riding along, same as usual. 20 mile an hour top weight. Where? George Street. Same time as usual. Spot on. Then when I get opposite the bank, this girl tumbles off her bike. Tumbles? Well, more like she throws the bike at me. Oh, a big girl, was she? Built like a Russian shot putter? No, just a girl sized girl. Age? 16, 17. Go on. I'll fall off. Money I pay could have hired Barry Sheen. When I get up, she's lying there, spark out. Blood? Yeah, on her face. Yeah, ketchup. Get on. Crowd gathers, PC plot, old shebang. <sighs> All right, that's you out of the game. Your turn. Everything is normal. A few last punters in the shop. Usual knock on the hatch. 
That's it. Didn't you look? Of course I looked. What'd you see? I saw him. But you didn't. I thought I saw him. Same belt, same gloves. Exhibit A. Yeah. Found a dustbin in your alley. So. You shovel out the money to whoever it is, and some con merchant waltzes off with my 700. It's all so easy. I'm sorry, Jack. Sorry? Isn't that dinky? <laughs> Alex is sorry. Well, while you're being sorry, my son, I'm really flaming mad. I mean, what's going on? That's what I want to know. So, suddenly it's open season on Jack Ormond. Of it's a glorious 12th of what? Am I missing something? Somebody knew the routine. Get away. Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. You fired anyone recently? Had a couple of part-timers on for a few weeks. The end of the flat. Check them out. This girl, Shirley Temple, you ever see her before? I'm trying to think. Think? I thought... Someone was around by the brain stress. There's been too much thinking going on, too much fully thinking. Right. We're not looking for a person. We're looking for two persons. That makes it twice as easy. And they're young. The bird's young. They're both young. Anyone older would know better than trying to rip off Jack Ormond. So we've got a cat that knows you. Knows you wear a jacket, arm and belt, motorcycling clothes. Now, I'm three's a friend of yours. No way. Or, will you let me finish? You had to return. Now, either he's a friend of yours, or he's seen you going, or coming, to the shop. Now, why do I say going or coming? Well, either was outside the shop looking in, or inside the shop looking out. See what no level will do for you? Right, there's an awful lot of unemployment in this area. If you don't find these two, there'll be a damn sight more. Worth a penny, are they? Sorry? Your thoughts? I was thinking about your savings. Oh, great provoker of thought. Where have you been keeping it? Does it matter? Banks close at 3.30. Oh, tickety-tick. Low max of the yard. Banks close at 3.30. Building societies close at 5. They also pay interest. Healthy capitalist instincts. They make the rules. One thing I wouldn't do with it, though. What's that? I wouldn't leave it out there on the table. They're biting. Not for me. Remember where you got that? Yeah. Goose fair. Number of goes I had would have been cheaper to buy one. <laughs> Stephen. 
Yes, Inspector. What does that mean? It was your copper voice. Go on out with it. It's about the money. Earned. I was grafting, you know, while you were doing your thing in the open prison. Just like Butlins, especially for ex-cops. I'm sorry. It's just, you do go on about it. Wasn't it a bit risky, carrying it through the streets like that? Not really. It's wrapped up. They wrap it for you? Sure. Building site. Yeah, well, you know me, I, uh, I winked at the girl. Get your passport back. Uh, no, they, uh, they, they took it back. Hadn't entered in the interest on it. Be a bit difficult, wouldn't it? You not having a permanent address. You're better at this than I am. I should be. About the girl, Katie Draper. How do you know? How involved she? OK, we ripped off a bedding shop, a bent one, that's all. That's all? Yeah. Are you serious? There's this monkey on a motorbike. He collects a bag of money every week. Used to work there, seen it happen. You clown! Why? Don't you see? See what? How long do you think it'll take him to get round to you? What's keeping us? We're free as the wind, aren't we? And the girl? Anyone see her? Yeah. The goon on the bike. Blown it, haven't I? Worse than that, my bet is you've ripped off the local mafia. You better make yourself scarce. You're in trouble. Sounded urgent. This is a kid you're all looking for. That's boy or girl? The bin. I've got one works the change. She ducked out on me yesterday. Switch shifts without telling okay, me. Okay, I don't want to know if her breath smells. What's her name? Katie. Where does she live? Katie? Who are you? Are you Katie Draper? No. I left her in there asleep. Katie? Katie? Stay where you are. What is it? What's happened? You on the phone? What? Are you on the phone? No. Call box? This one on the corner, what is it? Get down there, call an ambulance. I don't have any money. You don't need it, just dial treble nine. Right. Quick as you can. Shall I put the light on? Mm. Can you talk? I'm Steve's dad. Tell. Tell, tell who? I don't know who. Tell what? About Steve. And Mummy.
one of yours. Nah, not my shade. People don't usually come asking for Big Jack. They're usually busy trying to avoid him. This isn't usual. What made you think I'd tell you? Knowledge of human nature. I'm not supposed to give out information. Yeah, well, we all did what we should. Convince me I'd be doing right. It's good job we got his hat on. You couldn't tell him from a donkey. <laughs> you shouldn't talk like that about your uncle Sid. Uh, I wonder what this is about me. Oh, the thing about getting old is nobody wants to take your photo anymore. Really? Well, it's down stories. First sunny day next week, you, me, and David Bailey. Oh, Jack. I mean it. I'll put your six Guinness on the kitchen table. Oh, you shouldn't. Hey, there's something I've always been meaning to ask you. Six cans, eh? Seven days a week. Well, most weeks. How do you work it? I don't drink on Sundays. Oh, I'm trying to guess. <laughs> Pardon the expression, how's your blue tits? Pretty as a picture. I hung up those last nuts you bought. What's that on the bird bath, then? I don't know. Looks a bit like money. Looks a lot like money. It's all there, Jack. You were my son, actually. Chip off the old block. Tell me. Well, he's only a lad. You know, young and foolish. Awful way to die. Didn't know who he was tangling with. Painful mistake. I told him. Anyway, you got your bread back, so we can let it drop, eh? May not be that easy. Why not? Mill's already grinding. Well, let's get him ungrinding. I'll make some calls. I hope you're not the fat man. Give it my jackal, whatever. I'm rubbish. No, Mommy's, uh, he's a friend. Well, bring him in, then. Well, I'm going to. Just top up the pot for us, will you? Aye, we'll have a proper cup this time. Not a word. I you be taking your face home in Anki. Understood. And I'll have my tum back. I won that. For the aggro. Tough nut you are, Jack. Never forget it. And you're having tea with the Queen Mother, OK?
Steve. You have something we want. Got it! sitting around the lobby like potted plants. They're strictly on call. Barman, head porter, concierge, all that, right? Hey, and get back to me. Good. <coughs> Anything you're not into? Drugs. Why is that? Principle. Strange word on your lips. <coughs> Very strange. You afford principles? Somebody I was close to got uh, screwed up. Ah, and a ban after the doctors as well and the drug companies. National Health Service, greatest and worst thing ever happened to this country. Ormond, I'm on my way. If you know a prayer, use it. Come on, sunshine. Gently, you heard. All right, boys, wrap it. It's all for tonight. Talk to you later, Luke. You're the boss. That's right. Come here. Steve, is it? Lucky young man, Steve. Very lucky. Before you go robbing people. Always check who you're robbing, eh? Then don't. You're not cut out for it. Savvy? Catch you in town. Same time tomorrow night. Your head will be all on plan. Out. I want to talk to your dad. Thanks. Oh, you have to crack down. Let them get away with it. One of them just once. They'll be making plans for my funeral. How'd you like the job? Me? Work for you? Why not? I'm flattered. No thanks. Well, first time for everything. What does that mean? First time I've been turned down. Use bully boys. Well, Luke! I'm old fashioned. Don't like to see girls beaten up. What do you think I'm running here? A soup kitchen? It's a jungle out there. Dog eat dog. Oh, I'm a cat man myself. Cats and birds. Are you really? Same advice I gave you a boy. Sod off.
good breakfast. Looks like it. I was uh, putting you a note. Oh, good. Without receiving letters. Might as well say it now. Shut the door. I set out to help you. You end up saving my neck. Nothing's changed, though, has it? Change? What do you mean? Well, you're still as guilty as you were when we started. Yeah, I was innocent. Depends on your point of view, really. Yeah, well, when you clear your name, if you do, things will be different. Yeah, safe assumption. So what do you want, out? Well, <laughs> we can't fly around here like Laurel and Hardy, can we? You say not. I have, uh, I have things to do. Don't forget Ormond's deadline. No, I won't. Gonna visit Katie? Yeah. Don't go empty-handed in the fridge. Champagne? How do I know she'll like it? Champagne? Everybody likes champagne, especially if they're in hospital. You say so? Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll go and see her now. Later. Uh, Steve? Don't call her doll. Off? Yeah, why not? Cheers. What about address, telephone number or something? When I get settled. I'll call Wallace Marina, OK? Good luck, Dan. Take care, Steve.